Well, good morning or good afternoon or whatever else it is where you are. My name is Cam Lay. I'm the state entomologist for Montana and in charge of the apiary program with the Department of Agriculture. We're going to talk a little bit today about the uh, beekeeping regulations in Montana, how they affect commercial hobbyists and uh, other beekeepers. We're going to talk a little bit about what the department can do for you and what your obligations are under the Montana beekeeping regulations. We'll end up with a quick survey of the industry uh, and my contact information, of course, in case you have questions. The state of Montana regulates several aspects of the beekeeping industry here uh, in order to protect bees, protect the environment, protect the resources of the state, and protect the interests of the, uh, of the citizens. My section of the Department of Ag is concerned with apiary site registrations, issues arising from those, uh, from those site registrations, health inspections, bee diseases, and that kind of thing. We don't specifically regulate Pesticide use, we don't investigate uh, pesticide misuse cases. Of course, if you have concerns in those areas, feel free to contact me and we will, we will get you in touch with the folks that do that. The regulations in Montana are drafted by the legislature in conjunction with the commercial and non-commercial interests of the beekeeping industry. Then they're handed off to the Department of Agriculture to administer. That means if you have a question about the regulations or you feel that something needs to be changed in the regulations, the place to start is probably more with your local legislative delegation than it is with the Department of Ag. There are four kinds of apiary registrations in Montana. There are commercial sites, there are hobbyist sites, there are landowner sites, and there are pollination sites. The most common apiary site in Montana is a commercial or general apiary site. We have about 5,000, maybe 5,300 commercial sites. These are sites established on property the beekeeper does not own with the written permission of the landowner for a fee, usually rent honey, sometimes a cash payment uh, or some other consideration. Commercial sites have to be spread out. They can be no closer than three miles from another commercial site of different ownership, and they have to be used for at least 10 days with at least 10 hives during the period of honey flow, which the Montana regulations define as April 1st to October 1st. We do have some commercial sites that are in conflict with other sites. These are our older sites that are grandfathered in that were established prior to the 1st of July of 1981. They are not subject to the distance requirements. They can be moved if the conflict does not, uh, if it does not create a conflict or does not create a different conflict, they can be transferred under the same circumstances. But other than that, uh, those sites pretty much have to stay where they are. There are also pollination sites. Uh, pollination sites are established for a specified period of time with a limited number of bees on specific agricultural parcels for the purpose of pollination. That's a fairly unusual thing and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. If, uh, if you need a pollination site, you probably know about it. Get in touch with us and we'll walk you through the process. The next most common type of site is a hobbyist site. A hobbyist is a person who raises bees for their own appreciation, for their own use, for their own enjoyment. Hobbyists may have up to five hives per person up to 10 hives per family unit. The regulations don't define what a family unit is, so if you have two people in your household, you can have up to 10 hives. Hobbyists can register up to two sites. They don't necessarily have to be on land that they own, but they, they usually are. The state doesn't require hobbyist beekeepers to be registered, but many local municipalities do. If you are planning on keeping bees and you live within the city limits somewhere, it would be very much in your interest to check with the city manager, with the, uh, with the codes office, and see if your local area has regulations pertaining to beekeeping. Some do, some don't. Most, frankly, are silent. Uh, the kinds of restrictions that you're likely to find are on property size, the number of hives you can have. Some municipalities require you to provide a water source so that your bees won't be out in the neighbor's dog dishes or the neighbor's swimming pool. Some of them require you to have a fence. Um, most of the registrations are not city registrations. They're registrations with the Department of Ag. So we do get involved in that to, to some extent. If you are a hobbyist and your interest in bees expands or you are a landowner and you'd like to have more than 10, 10 hives of bees, at hive number 11, you will qualify for a landowner site. 
Registration is mandatory for landowners if they have more than 10 hives. So at hive number 11, you have to be registered. Landowners own the bees, and they also, of course, own the land uh, where, they, where the bees are located. There are no distance restrictions on either hobbyists or landowners. If you own the property, you can keep bees on it regardless of whether there's a commercial site or another hobbyist or landowner site nearby. Landowners can have as many hives as they wish on as many sites as they have places to, uh, to put them. Landowner sites established before the 1st of July 2009 can be converted to commercial sites without regard to the nearness of other, other commercial sites. We frequently get asked what the Department of Ag does for the beekeeping industry. We register sites, we investigate and uh, help to resolve disputes about the locations of sites if they're too close together. We make sure that people know where those sites are. We inspect bees for diseases. We inspect bees for parasites. If you are shipping bees out of state, a large part of the commercial industry goes to California every year, for example, to pollinate almonds. To get into California, they have to have a, an inspection by a disinterested authority. That would be the Department of Ag certifying that the bees are free of diseases and pests. To get back into Montana, they have to have an inspection certifying that the bees are free of diseases and pests. This is another one of the ways that we protect the, protect the industry. We provide technical assistance to the, uh, to the beekeeping industry uh, through education and outreach programs like this one, other programs uh, put on by the Extension Service, by the university system. Uh, we run surveys that are of interest to the state and the federal government. We're he heavily involved in USDA's National Honeybee Survey, have been for a couple of years. We participate with the Bee Informed Partnership that shares that, uh, that, shares that data. If you are a hobbyist and you are registered and you need somebody to come out and tell you what's going on with your bees, take a look at them, give you some assistance, one of our departmental inspectors or, or me is, uh, is available to, uh, to do that if you are a registered beekeeper. I want to talk for just a minute about what the industry looks like in Montana. Most people don't realize how many bees are kept in Montana, how many beekeeping operations are in Montana. It's a great location for beekeeping. It's a little on the cold side, but if we, uh, if we help them out a little bit and do what we're supposed to do, most of the girls are just fine. There are about 150 registered beekeepers as of yesterday in Montana. They maintain slightly over 180,000 colonies of honeybees on about 5,400 sites. 5,100 and something of those are commercial sites. There are about 150 landowners, about 45 to 50 hobbyists at any given time. And right now we have 38 pollination sites, most of which are associated with uh, some agricultural research being done by some large agricultural companies up in the, uh, up in the Flathead Valley. Um, as I said, there's a lot of beekeeping that goes on in Montana. It's a good place to do it. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you have fun with your bees. So that's a quick look at the state of the beekeeping industry, the, what the Department of Agriculture can do for you here in Montana. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you need an inspection or you need some assistance from the Department of Agriculture, you can contact me, Cam, C-A-M, L-A-Y, at 406 444-3790 through the Department of Ag's website or directly through my email at clay2 at mt.gov. Thanks a lot. Have a good day and enjoy your bees.